we've been very pleased with the uh, the, the reaction from uh, the public on, on that uh, on the photos first that, that went out. Uh, we didn't think that it would go um, viral uh, as as we saw over the the last uh, few days. Uh, so we've been very pleased with that, and we hopefully that that uh, carries the message and emphasizes the the, the challenges that we're facing in Tuvalu at the moment. Uh, we're actually imagining a worst case scenario where we are forced to, to relocate or um, our lands are submerged. So we're, we're planning for the worst case scenario and um, we're looking at uh, legal avenues where we can retain our ownership of our maritime zones, um, retain our, uh, our recognition as a state under international law. Uh, so th those are steps that we are, we are taking, um, looking into the, into the future. Acknowledge that there are economic interests uh, that, that leaders uh, have to consider, and, and that's primarily whether the challenge lies with them. Uh, so I, I think it's a dilemma. It's a dilemma that uh, all leaders are, are facing. Um, but, uh, but the message really is to, um, to look beyond those e uh, immediate economic needs and, and look at the well-being of, of the world. Um, so, yeah, that, that's a message we, we want to carry uh, to, to the leaders out at, at COP at the moment.